What up guys, Kevin here, giving you my first impressions of the A80J. I bought it yesterday. Yay, yay, all day, what can I say? Well, here's what I'm gonna say. Um, played quite a few hours, streamed a little bit last night, watched quite a bit of YouTube. This TV's boring. I am absolutely bored with this picture. Kevin, why are you bored with this picture? This is the 900E reincarnated. This is exactly my 900E. And instead of the 900 line focusing on brightness, they focused on getting the dark inky blacks. I feel like this TV is, if they made the 900E with full array local dimming, non-OLED, and then for a few hundred dollars more, you can get an OLED version. And that's this, that's the A80J. Because I turned it on yesterday. I was like, oh, this is this is the 900E. The OLED killer, they call that TV. And I cannot be happier. <laughs> I'm so happy. I made kind of a trolley video earlier this year stating what my TV would be for 2022. Like I was going to go buy like the C2 or all these other new TVs. Um, which I think it jinxed it because I said my TV of 2022 was the 900E. Unfortunately, my 900E broke like a year or not a year, a month or two later. And now I went on the stupid TV buying journey. And I liked all the TVs. The, I bought the C1, X90K, and now the A80J. They're all good. But to me, picture quality is, that's all I care about. That's all I care about. The 900E was not a gaming TV. It is not. It was good for gaming at the time when it released, but now, no. So if you need really, if you're looking for gaming features and not so worried about picture quality, and I'm not saying the picture quality is bad on the LG C1. If you're coming from any other TV or maybe you just didn't like, you don't like the processing on Sony televisions. Yeah, C1 is excellent. It was hard for me to return to C1 yesterday. Not because it was really heavy. <laughs> I was like, you know what? It'll be a workout and... I get a really good workout carrying TVs up and down the stairs and through Best Buy parking lots to the customer service counter. And also I wanted to save quite a bit of money by buying this TV. The C1's a great TV. Um, I see a lot of people in the comments telling me, oh, the A80J, you know, it has this problem, that problem. I still, still got another 13 days on my return policy. Um, I don't want to return this TV. I love it. I cannot tell you how happy I am that this is a 900E television in OLED form. Because the 90 series TVs, they've gotten really bright, which I love, by the way. But there is some blooming issues that people notice that I didn't mind too much. But when I got this TV, it's like it gets bright enough. It might get brighter. You know, it's been a while since I've had my 900E. It might be a little bit more brighter than my 900E, which is great for an OLED. Um, but I, because I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. I was even going, fuck it. I'm going to go look on eBay, Amazon, just find a 900E somewhere. Someone's got to be selling it. I will buy a 55 inch for $1,500 if someone's selling it. Um, I really like that TV. But no, this is it. This is the 900E reincarnated. Um, I even think the picture is better. Of course, because it's OLED. Something that really stood out were the greens. Um, not much green, and this is just footage of me playing Fall Guys. But there was some scene yesterday when I turned on the TV and it had green. And I was like, I mean, you can see the green right here. I was like, wow. That's not green. That is fucking green. It is beyond green. It is fucking green. I've never seen a TV handle green so well. Now, the reds, not so much. I had an issue with the X90J last year where the reds looked a little bit orangish. Still that issue on this TV, but I don't mind it. I mean, my 900E wasn't perfect. No TV is perfect, but yeah, I really love the processing, just the highlights just right away going from the C1 to the A80J. Not trying to crap on the C1. The C1, 
you know, it doesn't have the raised blacks. Like you see the black strip right there. That is very dark and inky on the C1. Probably looks way better on the C1 there. And you can see side-by-sides online where, oh, the C1 looks better than the ADJ and vice versa. But it just slapped me in the face yesterday when I turned on this TV. I'm like, yep, that's just Sony processing. Look at all the detail, all the highlights and all that specular detail. <laughs> I think that's what they call it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it, it, I just felt like home. Boring because, you know, I had this picture with the 900E for the last four years. But I am so thrilled I got my 900E again. It's just an OLED form. Um, this is just in game mode. Uh, I'll switch it over to a YouTube, which is in cinema mode. Looks good. This TV just looks good. I, I'm i happy. I'm really happy. I'm really happy with this TV for $1,000. You know how much I paid for my 55-inch 900E? A thousand dollars. So, yeah. I mean, this probably really cemented me just buying Sony TVs. Maybe not for the rest of my life. We don't know what happens. I looked at Best Buy and their TV selection, and the best-selling TVs like Sony is not even in the list. So I hope. I mean, this TV was, but that's because it's on a crazy sale. That is something I worry about. But yeah, I think this is where I get disqualified. Eh. But yeah, Sony, I'm a Sony pony. I love, I love this TV. Let's switch over to, um, let's go to YouTube. Another thing that really, I really appreciate that maybe 99.9% .9 of people, well, it doesn't even matter, is I'm actually using my, let me get to YouTube here. Yeah, I love watching this video. This is a video I usually watch first to go, all right, did, did I get a good TV? But I got the 900E remote I'm using because I do have my A10C right here to the right, and it controls both. It was a little annoying having the C1 remote and the 900E remote for both TVs because I like to game on one and watch TV on the other. Kind of like a dual monitor setup. But this TV gets plenty bright. Again, I haven't even hit that 100-hour mark. That's supposedly that it breaks in and gets even brighter. It just looks good. It just looks really good. This is in, I think, cinema mode. Oh, it's in standard. I thought I put it in cinema. I'll keep it in standard. Yeah, that these arches I always like to look at. They look, they look pretty red on camera, but they're actually a little bit orangish. A little bit orangish, orangish in person, but it gets bright enough. The signs, they look very 3D. Yeah, what you're seeing looks a little bit washed out, but yeah, I mean, go. there's actual people who do YouTube content or TV content on YouTube have way better side-by-sides. Uh, even they can't get a perfect, but man, I just, just what I'm seeing... I just see so much detail, just so much detail. And the upscaling on this TV, that was something that really kind of worried me because I am looking forward to playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3 next month, which <laughs> that game's probably going to release at like 240p. Um, even so, I mentioned it in the comments, like, yeah, I like the Sony TVs because of upscaling and I have a Switch. Yeah, not saying the LG C1, you know, it, it's you know, there's differences if you put it side by side. And if you're worried about a feature not being on the A80J or not working correct as it does on the C1, get the C1. The C1's a terrific television. And it's been on sale and selling out like crazy. This TV's been selling out like crazy. So, yeah. The build is really good. It's a very light TV. Like, I'm not as sore today because this TV was just very easy to carry upstairs. And I do wonder if I got a refurbished one. 
because the Sony TVs, they're usually wrapped in plastic. There's like a little plastic strip at the bottom and like the energy rating yellow sticker on the side. And that was it. That was it. Um, maybe that's why they're on a crazy sale. <laughs> they're like, oh, these are all refurbished. We'll just set it to Best Buy and just put it on sale. Um, yeah, this TV looks good. I noticed like in the brick or, you know, there was like a game that had like cobblestone and it, just the amount of detail it was extracting on the ADJ compared to the C1. It was just night and day, night and day. Yeah. Um, if you want picture quality, which to me, that's why you would buy a television is for picture quality. Get this, get the A80J. If there's specific gaming features or just features on the LG C1 or any other TV, go get that TV. And all you Samsung weirdos out there telling me he's going to get a Samsung next, do it. Hey, I might, I might. Um, I did have one issue with this television. This morning, it did not work with my PS5. My PS5 just would not turn on. It would not, I mean, it turned on, but it just, the TV, there was like some syncing or handshaking issues. Um, I think my TV was updating. I think there, it was in the middle of an update and I like I lost connection. I think that was an issue. Something I'll keep an eye on, but I don't think that will show up again. Um, sound is excellent. It's nice and clear. C1 has great sound too, but it's a little has a little bit more bass, more oomph. Where this, I mean, it's no talking. It's just loud and clear. And I don't want to get a sound bar. And you see how low this TV gets. I don't think there's even room for, I mean, there's room for a sound bar with how wide the feet are, but it's got to be a very low profile sound bar, which I don't want to get. I don't want any more devices than what I need. Um... Yeah, what more can I say? I think that'll be it for this TV. Maybe I'll do one update if, well, of course, if I do end up returning it, I'll explain why, what happened. Probably because some other TV went on a crazy sale and I want to check that out. But I don't think I can beat this. I don't think I can beat it. And again, this is my 900E in OLED form. This is like me going and buying the 900E and the Best Buy or Circuit City or Ultimate Electronics or Fry's Electronics, Sears, whatever the salesman went, hey, uh, for a couple hundred dollars more, you can get the OLED version. I'm like, well, what's the difference? Oh, it's basically the same TV, but the you don't you're not going to experience any blooming. You may have to worry about burning, but yeah, get the dark inky blacks, and I think it's a better picture. I'll be like sold, sold. Um, again, people keep mentioning to me the dimming issue. I'm starting to wonder if they are LG C1, uh, fanboys and they're trying to concern troll me. Cause yeah, it's happened where like I went and took my dog outside and I like paused it, uh, in a video game and I came back and it was a lot dimmer. But then as soon as I press start again, the picture went back to normal. Um, I feel like regular TVs do that are ready, you know, like it's about to go into sleep mode. So, I mean, it's something I will keep my eye on. Maybe I'll boot up uh, Civ 6. I think I have Civ 6 on Xbox. I think that has a lot of static imagery. So I think that's what people are saying. Like, even if there's like one little static uh, image in the picture, it will dim the whole screen. Um, I haven't experienced that yet. Again, I've only had it for about a couple days. So it'll be something I will keep an eye on. Again, these are features that I think are in some secret menus on the C1. You got to like activate. <laughs> like, aren't they in menus where like if you go into that menu and turn it off, it like voids your warranty? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's something that I will notice. And, you know, I, I've been a stickler about returning TVs for little things like the dark corners and stuff like that. But I don't know. I really like this TV. It is the 900E 20. 22 version well i guess 2021 it's last year's tv looks good yeah the whites do look a little bit pinkish but i mean here in standard emojis i mean i just love this video 
<laughs> I should find like a really crappy video. What are we looking at here? Oh my God. Japan, you're weird. You're weird, but y'all make uh, great games and y'all make great TVs. There you have it. Super Sony bro. What more can I say? I just love Sony televisions. Samsung, eh, eh, again, again. You know, I mean, I will say when I went to Best Buy a couple weeks ago, the best TV that I saw, and I, they, they did have the A80J. The A80J did not look spectacular. I wasn't blown away like I am now, but the best TV at Best Buy a couple weeks ago was the LG QNED 85. That TV looked great. Looked great. So yeah, you got to be careful. You got to be careful when you're at Best Buy if you're shopping that way. Oh, just walk around and see what the best TV is. I even believe that the manufacturers call in like, hey, we want to push more of these um, TVs. So put it this TV that's right by it in a really crappy setting and put the other TV next to it that we're trying to push, put it in vivid mode. I really do think they do that. <laughs> um, something I notice is like if there's like a regular LED TV next to an OLED, they will not be playing the same content. They will never have the same content on at the same time, probably because people will be blown away by the OLED and no one would buy the regular TV, <laughs> the non-OLED television. All right, I'm rambling. This, damn, this is going 16 and a half minutes. All right, I'm done here. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Got it really loud. And the interface, the Google TV, all that stuff, it's just, yeah. I'm used to it from my 900E and X90K and all that. Love it. Love this TV. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. I don't, I don't think I gave a rating yet. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Motion's great. Picture's great. Everything's great. Again, I love Sony televisions because they're processing. I was going to say it's the tits, but yeah, it's the tits. <laughs> trying to keep it PG, but fuck it. Oh, look at that green in the back. Look at the green in the store. Is it showing up? Yeah, I've never seen green like this on a television. I have never seen it. I'm sure Samsung TVs probably get. Hey, Don Quixote. I've been there in uh, Yakuza. I'm sure Samsung TVs have pretty great greens. But this is the first time I've experienced a green that is fucking green. All right, I'm done. I got to go. I'll talk to you later. Later.